Welcome back. Today we have gone all over Fort Worth, but no trip to Texas is complete without chips and salsa, of course. And today I am sharing with you my very own recipe, my garden fresh salsa. So it starts out with three Roma or plum tomatoes. You're gonna cut them in half, and then you're gonna throw them in a blender. Really easy. And you're gonna to wanna to use a Roma or a plum tomato because they have See, like in the middle, they're a lot less wet. So this actually is gonna give you a less soupy salsa. Cause we don't want soup, we want salsa. And of course, because we're using the skins and all, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you really wash the skins off it. Okay, now next, we're gonna want half of an onion. So you just take plain white onion, you're gonna chop it in half, and you're just gonna to wanna to cut that into quarters easy and add that to your blender as well. Now you're going to want to take a red pepper. So you're going to want to chop that up and make sure to get all the membrane and the seeds out. And now because we've got to bring in the heat, let's get a jalapeno pepper. Now the heat from jalapenos comes from the seeds. So if you just want the flavor but not necessarily the kick, you're going to want to take a spoon. Hmm? And you're gonna to wanna to make sure to get all of these little seeds out. Otherwise they are hot and they will, as my father so commonly puts it, light you up. So, no heat, no seeds. And put that in the blender. And you're gonna want a whole jalapeno. I really like jalapeno and I also like a little bit of heat. So, I'll leave a couple seeds just, just to be sassy. Now we also want a handful of cilantro leaves. About like half of a cup loosely, you know, packed cilantro leaves because this gives it that really yummy Tex-Mex flavor. That's about enough. Now into the blender we go. Now we're also gonna need the juice of half of a lime. It just kind of wakes up the whole salsa, brings it together, makes it zesty. So this is great to do if you have a lemon reamer because by just squeezing the lime, you're really not gonna get like a ton of the juice out of there. But if you don't happen to have like a citrus reamer, a handy dandy spoon will always do the trick. Watch. So while you're squeezing, go ahead and just take this spoon and just kind of work it back and forth and it will release so much more juice than just squeezing alone. It's amazing. So you don't need a fancy tool, you just need something you already have in your kitchen. Perfect. Last but not least, we have the spices. And this is what sets my salsa apart. Um, so first we're gonna be starting out with half of a teaspoon of ground cumin. This is just a great Tex-Mex spice. It's kind of the basis of Tex-Mex cooking, so gotta put it in our Texas salsa. Then we also have some salt, um, about one and a half teaspoons of salt, and taco seasoning. Two teaspoons of taco seasoning. It just sends it right over the edge. All that's left to do is blend it all up. And just like that, we're ready for a fiesta. Visit my website, Chasing Down Madison Brown, for two bonus recipes, homemade guacamole and pineapple mango salsa.